Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay XCOM UFO Defense. And when last we left off, we had good news, bad news, and really bad news. That could also be good news. The bad news is that we have uncovered the location of a base, or rather an XCOM operative has uncovered the location of a base. That could be bad, because that means that the aliens are getting a positive uh, score every month from that base existing, but if we can take out that base, we'll gain a positive score. The other bad news is this terror mission that's taking place. Admittedly, it's in the daytime, and there are some civilians that are close by that we may be able to save. The other good news is that the Council report was pretty positive, but ending this turn may negate all of this positive news, as we may lose some of our soldiers. Let's hope we don't! There is a shot there, and a shot there, so there's definitely somebody over there, and that somebody is most certainly shooting at people. Also, why did you drop down from the ceiling there? We may never know, but Nico is uniquely positioned to take care of an alien. An alien somewhere over here. Unfortunately, the civilian is blocking our route over to this area, so we can't actually go that way. Instead, it's like, hey, do you want to take seven turns to get over to here? No, not really. So instead, I will uh, save the uh, time units for a snapshot, and I will head in this direction instead. We may be able to see that alien. We cannot see that alien. We're going to have to move forward very cautiously here, and see what we can find. There is an alien. An alien in the middle of the street that was taking shots at this civilian. I don't know if that civilian will survive, but suffice to say, we need to try and shoot back. We can't shoot back because we don't have a line of fire. That's not good. If, potentially, we could... We could make a line of fire! That could certainly help. We could just shoot here and blast a hole through the wall. Good idea! Let's do that, shall we? Let's see if we can uh, take a shot. We'll take a snapshot. We'll just aim over here. And... Pow! We have a sort of hole which we can use to shoot that alien. I'm sure the building will be fine. There wasn't an upstairs anyway, really, to uh, consider. Let's see if we can uh, move over here. Maybe we just need to turn. We'll move over here, turn, and maybe we can take a shot or two. We can't because we don't have a line of fire, but we can force some fire, and a fine shot that was indeed! And hopefully that shot didn't hit anybody. I don't think it did. We'd have heard if we'd have hit somebody. So that alien is taken care of, which is good. We don't want to move forward just yet. We actually want to hold this position. So we're going to hold this position. You are going to crouch. You're going to face this way. We could have people move up, and actually that's a pretty good idea. We'll have you move up over to here, and hopefully you don't get shot in the face by somebody. Don't see any aliens over here. Moving you over to here is probably a poor idea, because there'll be a lot of aliens nearby. Moving you over to here might be a better idea. Nope, it's not a better idea! There is an alien. We could actually have you take some shots and then run into this building. Not a bad idea! One miss, one miss, and a miss. We could have you shoot again, but that's a poor idea if ever I've seen one. Go into the- oh! There are two aliens here. Go into that building! We can't go into the building because you're in the way. Right. Change of plan. Oh dear! Change of plan. Panic time, because there are three aliens over here. Chance of you living, relatively slim. If you move over to there, you might be okay. Just move away as far as you can, and hope that that alien doesn't decide to shoot anyone. We could just fire a rocket at some point, and that actually might be a good idea, but we need to be in the right position for that, and we are presently not in the right position for that. Moving you behind the tank might actually be a good idea. Moving you behind this tree is probably a better idea, though. The tree will provide some modicum of cover. Not much, but a little. Moving you over to here... Not a great idea, because it will consume all of your actions. We could move you over to, say, here, though. Here might not be so bad. Move you over to there, have you crouch. Time to go around this corner and see if there are any aliens here at all. The answer is no but we could very sneakily 
try and uh, flank. It might take a little while, but we are going to prepare a flanking maneuver. It's likely going to be far, far too late, but we could certainly try. The worst that could happen is absolute failure. We really want the tank to be in a good position. The tank is in a pretty terrible position. You're in an absolutely awful position. You might survive. I hope all of you survive as well. We might as well actually move you up to here, and we'll have the other soldier move on that flanking position. The flanking position is likely an absolutely awful idea that's not going to work, but it might work! And this is when one of them has a blaster launcher, fires a blaster bomb over here, and I lose four of my soldiers. Could happen. Let's see how bad this is. Oh, there was a shot there, and a shot there! Nico is dead! Not the person that I expected to actually kill someone. Not the person I expected to kill someone. First casualty. How badly wounded are you? You are actually not that badly wounded at all. Fortunately, the uh, armor you have managed to cushion the shot, which is good, because we wanted it to cushion that shot. Let's have you move forward, and hopefully we will see where the aliens are. Oh, we can see where the aliens are, and we want to take care of the alien with the gun first. This is not a very accurate shot that we have, but let's take it! And a fine shot that was too! The alien is gone. We could start taking some shots at that uh, Reaper, but we don't want to right now. We definitely don't want to. We want to move you up here. We only go around that way, it would seem. It would seem there is a uh, hedge that is blocking uh, access. We could have you move over here. That's not a bad plan. We can see over here there is a little bit of uh, dirt and grass, nothing significant. What about you, Deacon? We'll have you... Actually, we need you to move up there first, don't we? We'll have you move over here. Can you see where that alien went? No. No, you cannot. Which is kind of bad. We could have you move up. Actually, we could have you move through the building. That seems like a good idea. Hello, civilian! Don't mind me! We're just moving through a building. There's another civilian here! We're actually saving civilians! Would you believe it? Civilians are not dying? It does happen sometimes. Nothing so far over here. At all. Which is good, because that means that our flanking maneuver isn't going so badly. I know that there is the disadvantage of the uh, tank taking away experience from your soldiers, but if it means that I lose less soldiers, that's a good thing. Also, mental note, really need to uh, think about uh, getting some more personal armor for the next soldier. I will move you up here. There we go. This flanking maneuver might work quite well, and this is when the floater just floats over to here, and we're in some serious trouble. Do I want Sub-Zero to do anything? I maybe want Sub-Zero to move further forward. That seems like a good plan. We'll have you move further forward. We'll have you move further forward as well with that rocket launcher. That rocket launcher may be very useful against this uh, Reaper. There's not much more we can do, however, so we'll just end the turn. The Reapers are, uh, there are two of them! Oh, there are two of them. Well, that's not good at all! I didn't want there to be two Reapers, and yet there are. Okay, this may seem like a poor plan, but I'm going to move you around the corner, and there is a floater, right there. Fortunately, we're uniquely uh, positioned to take care of it. Or, or we would be if we could actually shoot which we can't right now. I'm going to presume that you have some sort of uh, reaction fire ready. Oh. Hello! There are two of you! Let's see if we can take you out first. That's the door, Dr. Grant! Don't take out the door. That's pretty bad. Okay. That's a bad situation, for sure. Pretty terrible. Let's move you up and see if you can do any better. Probably not. But hey, you might be able to, you can see from here. Take some shots! One hit there, marvellous awesome possum! One alien has been taken care of, and now we could actually shoot at you! Do I want to use... yes I do. Let's just fire. That wasn't bad, that was really good! Well done, we've taken out the two floaters! Which is really impressive. It also means that we can now use Barry, say over here, to get some shots on that Reaper. We could definitely get some shots on that Reaper. 
Flanking maneuver engage! Well, in theory, if you could actually uh, shoot from there. You could shoot from here, though. Flanking maneuver engage! You actually need to hit for this to work, Barry. Never mind! Never mind, eh? Want to actually put you over here. Not the best place for you to go, but that's fine. Okay, the tank is here. We could take a shot if we wanted at this um, Reaper. 31, 33% or 69%? That's the thing. Do we want to take two shots or do we want to take one? We want to take two. Snapshot go! Excellent. One dead Reaper. We could also move you up here and take some shots at this Reaper, I imagine. Yes, we can, Gaston, too. Nobody shoots a Reaper like Gaston! One shot to the face, two shots to the face, and that's not so bad. 18 for another auto shot? Go for it! Is that... No, the Reaper is still standing. Unfortunate, but we can move you over here. I really don't want to move Angel over to shoot. Why? Because that's a terrible idea if she misses and makes a giant explosion here, and then everyone dies. Let's instead just have you fire here. Auto shots? You can shoot there. Excellent. Three hits, and one dead Reaper. Unfortunately, there is definitely another alien around somewhere. I imagine the alien is going to be somewhere around here. But we're doing remarkably well, and I've just jinxed myself by saying that. I know. I've just jinxed myself. It's inevitably going to go wrong now. Sub-Zero is going to get shot in the face or something. But we need to, uh... Actually, we need to keep moving you through here. That's what we need to keep doing. Let's have you go through here. And then suddenly an alien. No, two civilians. There are loads of civilians that are still alive. This might be the most successful terror mission I've ever had. That is a definite way to jinx myself. Most definitely. There's not much more we can do here, except move you up into a slightly better position. We can't move you over to there. That's pretty bad. There's no cover over here. We could move you to here. That seems pretty good. We'll move you to here. Crouch you. Crouch you. Crouch you. Just crouch everyone. That seems pretty good. Also, uh, yeah, your health is fine. I thought I would just double check. Everybody needs to crouch right now. Absolutely everyone, except you. If somebody shoots you, you're pretty much done for anyway. We'll crouch you and not you. Let's end the turn and see what happens. Hit a movement. Okay, there's probably only one alien somewhere, which means that we need to go and find that alien. Off we go, tank! It's your job to find the alien. Let's see if we can locate this foe. There's the foe! Excellent. Why don't you take a shot? Why doesn't Angel take a shot? A snapshot with a 24 turn units. We could actually have you fire from here. It might work. It might work. We could have you move a little bit as well. Over to here. Just so that we could have you have a fine shot indeed. Now, don't miss. Marvelous. Mission complete, and what a successful mission that was. We had uh, one operative killed, a number of civilians were killed by aliens, but we saved civilians, which gave us points. We recovered artifacts. We recovered a live alien. That is amazing. We also have Captain Barry and Sergeant Angel. And we lost Nico. It is unfortunate that we lost Nico, but that is okay. We can actually leave the, uh... We're definitely going to leave that there for now. Let us uh, alter our manufacturing, because we need to manufacture some uh, personal armor. Mainly because we uh, lost one of our soldiers, so I think we are missing some personal armor. It won't take very long to manufacture just one suit. There we go. Things went remarkably well. Which, uh, which alien did we get? We got a Reaper. That is not the alien that I thought that we get, but hey, if we can research the Reaper, that's good. We'll just return to uh, the base. That was a huge success. That is definitely going to uh, stack up in our favor. Don't want to deal with that just yet. We will deal with it, but I really don't want to deal with it right now. We need to uh, recruit another soldier. Just one, because we lost one which means that we need to uh, equip the craft with another soldier. Shopkeeper? 
it's time for you to uh, join the active squad. And we're going to uh, most certainly uh, see if we can equip anything to you. Just to check if the armor actually does... Uh, no, the armor is gone. When you lose a soldier, the armor does disappear. What we are going to do is we're going to look at our money and we're going to consider maybe building a new base. Ideally, we want a base, say, over here so that we can uh, get a lot of coverage here in Europe. If we were to build a base there, it would cost us one million. It's not a bad idea to do that, actually. Let's do that. We shall call it Ultimac... Hmm, Ultimac what? I like just calling them Ultimac just so that uh, we have a little... Uh, thing that identifies them as XCOM bases. Ultimac, uh, hmm. It's always tricky to pick names, isn't it? It's always tricky to narrow down one name. Ultimac Algo. There we go, and we're going to put the, uh, we're going to put the lift, I think, here. We're not going to build that much here, actually. We're going to, uh, build a facility. We're going to build a hangar right here. And then we're going to build a general stores over... Actually, we want to build a living quarters first. No, no, general stores is actually what we want to build. General stores over here. Not bad. Now we have two bases. That base currently isn't doing very much. It will do stuff later. We also want to do some other things, like we want to start uh, considering what we're going to do with uh, the equipment that they're going to have. We probably actually want to manufacture a few more laser rifles, and we will get ready some laser rifle manufacturing once uh, personal armor has been dealt with. We could also just pass over the laser pistols. Actually, that's a really good idea. We could just pass over the laser pistols. We'll probably do that. Personal armor has been uh, manufactured, which is fine. If we were going to manufacture some uh, rifles, we'll just uh, stop production there. If we were to manufacture 10 rifles, and use everyone, it would take four days. Actually, that's really reasonable. Just use the uh, rifles. We actually want to uh, not do that. I want to go to the base and I want to sell lots of things to make up for all that we're doing. Let's see. I want to sell. We want to keep them. We definitely want to sell the rifles and all of the clips. Let's sell them. We'll also sell not the grenades, the Illyrium will keep, the Mind Probes, the Floater Corpses will sell, we don't need them, the Reaper Corpses we will also sell, and anything else we want to sell? We could sell the uh, person that we have uh, captured. We're not going to, though. We could sell these pistols. Let's sell a few pistols. Not many, just a couple. Not bad. We uh, earn nearly a million from that, which is quite nice. It almost makes up for all of the uh, stuff we just did with the uh, beginnings of the building of this base. This base is going to be a monitoring base. The primary thing it's going to have is it's going to have a radar facility, it's going to have uh, a living quarters, a general stores, and a hangar for an interceptor. Its job is to shoot down UFOs for this base to go and uh, take care of. It's not going to be an expensive base to maintain, but it's a good idea to get it set up pretty much right now. So let's uh, just let time advance. We're probably going to have to manufacture some uh, alloys as well, I think. We have one soldier. Let us go to this soldier and name this soldier. This soldier, after all, needs a name. What name is suitable for this soldier? I think we are going to call you... Hmm. It's always tricky to... Uh, I know! Kirby. Welcome to the mission, Kirby. Nice to have you around. Excellent. And we'll just let time advance a little bit more. Excellent. Nothing really happening. Which is good. We are going to take care of that. Sooner rather than later. But we are going to take care of it. Also, we have manufactured those uh, laser rifles. We probably want to manufacture some alloys now. Not many, I think. Uh, we'll just allocate everyone. And maybe about 40? 40 really doesn't cost that much. We'll manufacture 40 of them, it takes 4 days, then we'll use that to make personal armor, we'll transfer all of that over to here, and then we will be ready to get some soldiers over there. Not many, maybe about 10 or so. Or maybe just 8. It's more of a contingent guard. We'll just let time advance some more. We haven't detected any UFOs or anything like that, but that is not a bad thing. 
And when we come back, folks, one really successful Terra mission. We did do quite well in that. I doubt they're all going to go so well. And we have another thing to take care of imminently. This alien base. We know it's there. They don't know that we know it's there, or maybe they do. Good job, XCOM agent, discovering that that was there, quite out of the way. We'll be taking care of that, as best we can. Fingers crossed, we can actually manage it. It's going to be a tricky, tricky ordeal. Might actually want to take grenades for that one. And thinking about that, I think it's time to, uh, buy a few grenades. About ten. One per person. Okay, not ten. We'll buy twenty. Two per person. And when we come back, folks, the first alien base. Can I take care of it? We'll find out. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.